Brees at Tornos today here in Moutier. Uh, we're going to look at this new machine, this CT20, but it's not actually a new machine, but a new version, isn't it? Tell us about the version 2. It's, a, it's indeed a new version. So we, are, so we had the version 1 till now, and now we are introducing the second version. It's an evolution of this, uh, of this machine. Uh, it's basically the gateway to the Tornos world, this, uh, this CT20. And uh, what we have done with this version is actually we have actually improved it. So, for example, the spindle used to be limited at 8,000 RPM. Now the spindle go to 10,000 RPM. Uh, is that both spindles? It's only, the, it's only the main spindle. The counter spindle stay limited at 8,000 RPM. The guide bush used to, be f uh, used to be not removable. Now we have listened to our customer and we have uh, made this guide bush removable. It seems very common these days to be able to do that, isn't it? To go guide bush to non-guide bush. People like that, don't they? It is, it is. It has become a, a, common, feature on, a common feature on those, uh, those machines. We have it now uh, on all our machines. The CT20 was uh, a little bit the exception. It was our entry level. And uh, despite that, people tend to, uh, to want this, uh, this possibility. And therefore, after listening to them, we decided to introduce it as well. We'll come on to some of the other enhancements in a minute. But to start with, I'd probably just like to tuck into a bit of the machine detail. Like, so, so what sort of, I mean, does 20 mil, minutes is a 20 mil bar machine? It is, it is. It is a five axis, five linear axis, 20 millimeter bar machine. So a pretty, uh, a pretty common solution. And it's, how many tools would you have? You can, uh, you can actually mount 27 tools, including 11 rotating tools, which is quite unique for this, uh, for this level of machine. So you can have 11, 11 driven tools on this machine. And, and, and are they for the back and the front working? What's the split back and uh, front working driven? So now on the CT20 version 2, you have actually five tools in counter operation, and the five tools can be driven. In main operation, you have four radial tools, and you can also, by the way, just, it's a modular position, so you can also attach a thread wireler, a polygon milling attachment, or a, or a slotting device in, uh, in main operation, but also in, uh, in counter operation when it comes to the slotting device. So you have four in, uh, four in main, and you can act actually attach also two rotating tools next to the counter spindle. I, I saw that, that's, that's quite unique, isn't it? What, what, um, how are they driven? They are driven through the, uh, through the motor of the counter spindle, which gives you a lot of power, basically. And that, I mean, this, this is still an entry-level machine, but this feature can really help you to, to make, uh, yeah, to answer various needs from, from your customer and, uh, and make rather a complex part, actually. You, you say this is a gateway into Tornos's products, but it sounds like it's a, quite a, a sophisticated bit of kit uh, itself, so it doesn't really seem that entry-level, but it is in your eyes. I mean, the machine, I mean, I quite like this machine personally. It looks a little bit like an underdog and, and so on, but it has, it has basically everything that you need. It's a very comprehensive machining solution. It comes with the, the bar loader, the Tornos bar loader. You can have the ACB software from Tornos embedded into it, so the active chip breaker. You have Tizis, you can program it through Tizis, you can monitor. So you basically have everything from, uh, from a big machine into this, uh, this very comprehensive and very attractive solution. Good, good sales pitch that, I think that's fantastic. <laughs> uh, active chip breaker, what, what is, it? is this about swarf control? It's about swarf control, uh, as, we have, as we have seen uh, in your last uh, review, uh, Paul, uh, we have now this ACB available on all our machine, and the CT20 is no exception, basically. We can also have this, uh, this feature embedded into the CT20 if the customer wants it. And also when it comes to chip, uh, it has to be mentioned that those CT20 come all with a 20 bar pump, all integrated. And uh, the pump is working very well and it really helps you out to, during your machining. And of course you can, uh, you can adapt all the, the, the bits and pieces that, uh, that you'd like to have from a Tornos. For example, if you want to have a cheap conveyor, um, a long part ejector, that's all possible from us. Uh, it's mechanically, obviously, sound, uh, electronically as well. But what, what interests me there as well is you, you mentioned in a bit about the Tysis, uh, you leaning very much towards Industry 4, getting data out of the machine. Uh, you can even do that with this model then. You can do that exactly with this model. It's basically you have exactly the same feature uh, when it comes to software as a Swiss DT, a Swiss GT, or a Swiss Nano machine, or, uh, yeah, it's basically, uh, it's the small sister, uh, but it's still, it's still a very, uh, very capable, uh, still a very mature product. Uh, also easy to, to, to access and get in and change tools, but quite 
tidy in its in its appearance as well and its footprint, isn't it? Some, sometimes you look at uh, you know 20 mil bar machines and they, they can be a bit bigger than this. It's, it's actually quite neat and compact. It's a compact machine. Yeah, that was that was also the the objective of this project is have really a small machine, a small entry level machine, uh, basically to serve customer that has either an old CNC machine that is worn out and they want to replace it so we have this uh, this machine this entry level machine that is available or also to some customer that have cam driven machine they want to, to to replace it by a cnc machine but usually their uh, their work uh, places is quite crowded already and they don't have that that much space so that's why we went for this uh, for this smaller design and, and am i going to pay a price uh, here because it's a tornos machine with all those features that you talk about or is it um, still going to be competitive as well no it's very competitive actually it's really very competitive on the market and uh, there it's uh, it's our do it's our doorstep. Um, be, in, uh, be be interesting for people to find out once they've spec a machine, actually how competitive it is, wouldn't it? Yeah, it is. It is especially if uh, if you compare it. I mean, it's really a true solution. You you have the machine and the bar loader, and uh, you can have a really a nice. And a really attractive package like that. And and these machines are selling well for you around the world, aren't they? You do do a lot of these CT machines, and the version two, I'm sure, will prove very popular as well. Just for our viewers, how quickly does it take to get your hands on one of these if you're interested? How quickly can you deliver them? No, I mean we can deliver in uh, in one month those uh, those machines. Um, even less if uh, if it's really an emergency. But uh, there we have uh, we have good delivery uh, delivery period for for those uh, for those machines. So great price, uh, great machine, uh, on a great delivery. Thanks, Bruce. Thank you.